Uh, I can listen to that for another five minutes at least, right? So good. Right? <laughs> Beyonce covering the song that made Dolly Parton famous, Jolene, on her new album that just dropped this morning, Cowboy Carter. And her version is more of a threat than a warning. Instead of begging Jolene not to take her man, Queen Bee is more defiant and instead is telling Jolene that Beyonce isn't begging, but warning her to back off. <laughs> While Dolly Parton wasn't officially on this cover, she did record an interlude before the track and made a reference to the hussy with the good hair. We all know who that is. That's Jolene. <laughs> and Queen Bee is being honored with the 2024 Innovator Award at the iHeart Radio Music Awards happening on Monday, April 1st. And here to give us all the details on the ceremony is digital and social host Emily Curl. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you so much, Ross, for having me. This is so exciting. I'm so excited to be here. It is such a great day for you to be here, especially because this album just out a few hours ago. Cowboy Carter. Mm -hmm. Okay, let me just say, I live in New York, but I'm from Georgia. So oh, I grew up okay. loving country music. <laughs> so like, I'm excited to bust out all the cowboy mm -hmm. boots from my closet. I'm ready mm -hmm. to go. This album has been on repeat for me. What do you think? What did you think of Jolene? Oh, I love Jolene because, like mm -hmm. we were saying right before this, mm -hmm. that's such an iconic song. Obviously, Dolly Parton's song that, like, My Beyonce made it her own. We yeah. got another side to this story. I just feel like it's an amazing collaboration. Two icons. I mean, I, I thought it was such an incredible tribute. Yeah, and it's so wonderful that it's been so well received because there was so much controversy. She addresses the controversy right on the album. Like, don't yeah. tell me what genre genre we can be in. Exactly. Uh, they're really is such a uh, breakdown in walls from genre to genre anyway. And this album, the new album from Beyonce, just proves that. Exactly, I and mean, it's so cool. Like That's why we have her as our 2024 Innovator Award for iHeart Radio Music Awards. She really does. She changes culture, she shifts genres. She is just, you can't put her in a box. And I think that's what's something that's so cool to see. And mm -hmm. especially as a country music lover, like I'm so excited what she's bringing to the genre and all these new sounds. And again, just, it's really, it's a really cool space to be at the time. Yes, download that album. Another innovator, another legend, Cher is being, I've met Cher before, she's so wonderful. Who doesn't love Cher? Who doesn't love Beyonce? Who doesn't love Cher? Let me she's tell you, the first well. time I met Cher, I, I swear, Cher, Cher didn't walk into the room, she floated. It's yeah, like Cher is just amazing. a god, I mean, she's mm -hmm. incredible. Yeah, so, and so she's going to be part of the show. She will be part of the Monday. show. Yeah, so we have like a special. Yeah, so she has something special for the show. Lots of surprises there, Ross. So mm -hmm. it's going to be. Oh good. really? Yeah. Oh, right. <laughs> That's what we're known for at our iHeartRadio shows. Is mm -hmm. you never know quite what you're going to get. Of course, we have teasers. Cher will be there, but mm -hmm. yeah, you got to watch to find out all all the little secrets. And Ludacris is hosting. Ludacris is hosting. Yeah. What, what can we expect there? You know, when Ludacris is a part of something, it's going to be a <laughs> rowdy time. It's going to be fun, and he's also performing. Yeah. So I. I think it's going to be such a fun show, amazing performances. Yeah, let's talk about the performances. Who else is going to be performing? What can we expect? Without so we, giving it all the way, Yeah, right? okay, that's, yeah, because we have some other ones. So Justin Timberlake will hit the stage, oh. Green Day, TLC, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then again, going back to country, Jelly Roll, Lainey Wilson, Tate McRae, who's a huge star, and yeah. I've got to interview her from the beginning, who's had such a big year, will all be hitting that stage. So it's going to be such a fun show. Well, you know, I want to ask you, let me ask about Justin Timberlake. You know, there's a little controversy over his life concert right some people were saying some things about Justin I was really shocked I'm like we're going after Justin Timberlake legend Justin Timberlake what did you think about that oh man I mean it's I feel like as an artist like it's yeah I mean it's tough I feel like mm -hmm. he's been in the spotlight for so long but yeah. now we see him sort of you know he reclaiming he's back he's releasing music like he'll obviously be performing so I think mm -hmm. it's one of those things where like he is Standing True releasing his music, and mm -hmm. we're going to see him perform. And I'm, I'm curious, yeah, what's going to happen on that stage with him, too. But When he gets on the stage this time with all of that controversy in mind, I'm sure we're going to see something special, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. How has the award show really changed over the years? And what can we expect? Anything different this year? I think what's so fun for me, this is my fourth time hosting the awards, hosting the red carpet. Mm -hmm. And um, it's always a blast getting to see the celebrities meet each other. You see these artists interacting. And mm -hmm. one of the coolest things we do, and one of my favorite parts, is we have socially Voted categories, mm -hmm. and these are a little bit different because we sort of, you know, we get these moments to um, to highlight yeah. some other parts of, of the artist's lives. Like we have favorite tour photographer, best tour style, mm -hmm. um, best fan army. So the fans get to be a part of it, and that's what we love to do at iHeartRadio is really make the fans like a part of the conversation. So they get to vote for the favorite mm -hmm. artist. They're in on it, and again, to honor these photographers, these stylists, these designers right. in different ways is a really cool thing for for us to see. So four years right now, really quickly before we go, who are you most looking forward to seeing on the carpet? Ooh, 
I right? mean, listen, if I see Beyonce, <laughs> I, you might have to, to wheel me off that carpet, okay? I might be passing out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Beyonce, can we cut I think that would do me in, but I'm excited. Share too? Share Beyonce, I think, yeah. You yeah. might have to wheel me out as well. Yeah. All right, yeah, maybe I'll it. sneak on. We'll see. We'll see if we can make that happen. <laughs> oh, yeah, right? We'll see you there, that for, for sure. Yeah, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Emily Curl, thank you so much for yes, joining thanks, us. Thank and remember you so much the for me. Of course, and remember the award show is going to be live at the Dolby Theater coming up on Monday. We, of course, will have full coverage afterwards of all the winners. All right, a little musical cheers, and now it's our time for the weekend wrap with yes. Secret LA. You know, it's billed as the definitive guide to the most exciting hyper-local happenings across Los Angeles, and Nestor Hernandez is back. It truly is the guy. Yes, What do you got is. this weekend? It's going to be raining and miserable. It is going to be a rainy weekend, but movies, and you're going to love this one, mm -hmm. because why not go to the movies when it's raining? Yeah, um, perfect. Searchlight Pictures is actually celebrating their 30th uh, year anniversary mm -hmm. with lots of screening and events, and this Saturday they are screening the Grand Budapest Hotel, followed by a Q&A with one of the cast members, Tony Revolori. Mm -hmm. This is really cool because it's only $25. Yeah. With that, you get an entrance to one of the most iconic theaters in LA, El Capitan, in Hollywood. Uh -huh. You yeah. get a drink, you get popcorn, you get a little memorabilia, and even a key lanyard. And so, it's a great movie. Yes, great it movie. is. I'm in, I'm in, I'm it in. Is. And uh, this is, there's another one next Saturday and the Saturday after that with awesome. some pretty cool screenings too, so don't there. miss them. Yeah. Up next, a restaurant that is going to take us to Italy. Yes. Don't let the fact that I'm Italian influence you. Have you eaten here? Is it that good? No, but let me tell you this. It's one of the most, it became viral in Italy, in Florence, mm -hmm. Italy. It came oh. to LA um, in Venice around six months ago. Mm -hmm. Now their newest location in Koreatown. Oh my God, these uh, sandwiches look amazing. Look I'm They're going. like a, kind of like a schiata bread. I don't know if I'm saying that right. It's kind of like focaccia, but not mm -hmm. focaccia. It's more chewier and thinner. Um, you choose your spread. You you know you pile on those Ooh, meats and fresh mozzarella, and you got yourself oh, an amazing I'm, sandwich. I'm, I think I might do that this weekend. But Venice, because Koreatown is gonna be crazy, you know. So choose <laughs> choose which one you want to go to. Okay, did you say Venice? Yes, there's one in Abikeni. Didn't we just talk about this? We did. Okay. <laughs> Have all the weekend. <laughs> Are we celebrating Easter Sunday? Tell me about uh what to do? Yeah, well, this one's from the kiddos. This is happening at 2nd and PCH. It's going to be raining, but this is an outdoor and indoor mall, so a lot of the events will still be going on. The bunny, uh, Easter Bunny is still going to be there to take pictures with the kids. Um, an egg hunt and Aww. a community vendor marketplace for you to enjoy lots of local LA uh, vendors. Tr traditional Easter. Yes. Okay, now it's time to spill the tea. Yes, so <laughs> if you're looking for a nice <laughs> afternoon high tea, the mm. Bel Air Hotel is actually hosting an afternoon tea. Have you ever been to the Hotel Bel Air? I haven't, but that sounds good for Easter too, Yes, right? it's very Perfect. like Easter uh, mm -hmm. vibes, and the Hotel Bel Air is so beautiful. It's like a, a little gem inside a forest. It's so lush and green. Mm -hmm. I love it. Um, there's going to be lots of uh, fresh treats by their world-renowned pastry chef, and it's going to be lots of fun. You can RSVP through oh, their okay. um, through their website. And then <laughs> they make all the pastries there? Yes. All right, maybe mm -hmm. I'll see you there. We're going to run into each other all weekend long here. Mm -hmm. All right. Raspberry Nestor. macaroons, <laughs> blueberry scones. Good. All right, Nestor, thanks so much. And that does it for us. Thanks for watching the Morning Wrap. Stick around for KCAL News at Noon coming up with my good friend and colleague, Rachel Kim. Have a great weekend, everyone.